Hey boys, it's Harm Nod. Today we're gonna to be customizing the brand new Anis 300R in Grand Theft Auto Online. This was added with the uh, Los Santos Drug Wars update. We're gonna go ahead and start right off with this customization. It does appear that this is an Imani Tech vehicle. That's crazy, it's got armor plating. Uh, we're gonna go all the way up on the armor, obviously. The armor plating, let's add it to this thing, why not? For the brakes, gotta go all the way up on those. The fenders, we can change the color of the arches on this car. Oh, we can actually just add the arches in general. That's kind of dope. Uh, you know what, I kind of like it with the bolted arches to kind of go with the more industrial sort of look. So I'm gonna go for that actually. For the front bumpers, we do have quite a few different options here. We got some pretty aggressive ones. Um, I kinda wanna go with more of a basic one. I think I'm gonna go for the carbon splitter. For the engine, we are gonna go all the way up on that. For the engine cover, we can change the color of this. Um, I do like it in red. I think that it looks really good like that, but we'll scroll through. Uh, yeah, that's that's the one I'm gonna go for. For the exhaust, we do have quite a few different options here. The titanium looks amazing. I'm going for that already, unless there's a better one. Oh, okay, the infinity exhaust look even better. Uh, let's go titanium infinity on these looks amazing for the hood we got quite a few different hoods that we can go for here um i'm liking there's a couple that i'm liking so far we got the transparent hood that's pretty cool um i'm liking the ridgeline hood myself so i'm gonna go for that one for the imani tech of course we got the remote control unit or the missile lock on jammer let's go missile lock on jammer for sure for the lights we are gonna go xenon of course for the neon kit do we do one on this car Let's do one. Let's do just white on the front, back, and sides. Why not? For the livery, we have the shopping list livery in black and in white. We also have the black Stance Andreas livery, which I believe is being covered by our armor. We have the white Stance Andreas as well. The number 26, which is being covered by the armor. It kind of defeats the purpose. Retro Rally as well. Got the Team Stronzo livery as well. The red offset stripe and the debonair circuit. Um, I am not going to go for a livery because none of them really look good with the uh, with the armor on the car. So whatever, that's okay. Uh, we can go for the retro sort of bullet mirrors on this thing. I'm actually going to do it and I'm going to do them in carbon. I think they look pretty cool. Uh, this thing is one of those cars that looks old and new at the same time. It's kind of dope. Yellow and black for the plate, of course. Proximity mine oil slick dropper. We are going to add that onto the car, of course. For the rear panel, we can make this carbon. So I'm going to do that just because it matches up with the rest of our kind of carbon theme. For the color of the car, I actually really like it in ice white. Um, it looks really good in my opinion. Uh, but I think that we are going to go for a different color. I think this thing does look really good in an orange. Uh, so I'm going to go bright orange on this car, actually for the primary and the secondary color as well. Um, I think it's gonna look pretty good. For the trim color on the interior, uh, we could go for something a little bit different. Um, maybe a red, I feel like there just might be too much going on there though, so I'm gonna go black actually. For the roof, we can go for a primary roof kit, secondary roof kit, or carbon, of course, as well. We've got the ridge line roof as well in primary, secondary, and carbon. The inset roof as well in all of those colors. I think that I want to go for the primary inset roof kit. I don't really like the look of it when it's a different color. For the skirts, we can add some onto the car. Uh, there are some pretty good looking skirts, actually. I kind of like the look of the primary aftermarket skirt. Um, I also like the regular primary carbon skirt. I'm gonna go for that one, actually. So let's do that. For the spoiler, we got a ducktail. Uh, we have a few ducktails, actually. A winged ducktail. Ooh, that looks pretty good, actually. I like that a lot. We got the tuner wing as well. That looks really good, too. The aggressor wing looks really good, too. Wow, all the wings look pretty good on this car. I gotta say, good job, Rockstar. Um, let's go for the carbon wedged ducktail. I like the look of that a lot. Let's do that. For the suspension, wow, we can slam this thing. It looks great. Um, let's... Let's slam it right down, why not? Transmission all the way up, of course. The turbo as well, for sure. The wheels, I am thinking about going for the sport category. And ooh, why do the endos kind of look good? Why do the super fives kind of look good too though? Uh, let's see here. I like the S racers. The S racers look pretty good on this car, I feel like. Um, 
you know what the the mercies though are just they're unfair they look so good let's do those let's do them in black to kind of match up with the carbon fiber look uh bulletproof tires of course you got to add those onto the car it does have a money tech so we'd be kind of wasting uh we'd be kind of wasting our time if we didn't add those so um this thing is looking great i'm really liking this let's take it down to the ground and uh, we're gonna do a sound test and a full review on the car okay let's uh let's take a listen here Okay, sounds sounds pretty good. Um, it's not the greatest sounding car ever, but it's far from the worst. Um, I'd give it, you know, like an eight out of ten. Sounds pretty good. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely a, a pretty good sounding car. I'm interested to see the performance of this thing because it does have a Monty Tech. Um, so, you know, if this thing has really good performance could potentially be you know the new best imani tech car in the game um i'm not sure if this has the imani tech that's similar to the obey omni egt or if it's similar to the buffalo stx i did notice that it doesn't have the front mounted machine gun so it does kind of lead me to believe that it's going to be the uh, the car that it's going to be similar to the egt in that it can take 12 rpgs and 12 homing missiles at the cost of not having the uh, bullet resistant windows as well as the front mounted machine gun so that is kind of what i'm thinking uh, we will have to see though. We're going to do an armor test on this thing uh, a little bit later today So you guys can stay tuned for that um, as far as the driving characteristics of this car go I'm impressed so far. Uh, it has very good handling. It feels very planted uh, very good in general I would say the acceleration is nice. The sound of the car is great as well um, obviously, I don't really know too much about the top speed, so it's a little early for me to say, but it feels like this car will have a pretty strong top speed. On the expanded and enhanced edition, I also wouldn't be surprised if this thing maybe had an HSW upgrade. I don't know because I'm on PC, but uh, we'll look into that in the future as well. But my first impressions of this car, they are uh, pretty good. I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be one of the better cars from the DLC. Um, obviously, this is the first one that I'm driving, so we don't know too much yet, but but uh, I am kind of thinking that this is going to be one of the better cars for sure. Uh, so I'm going to be interested to see what the other cars are going to perform like. But so far, I am pretty impressed with the 300R. This thing is pretty awesome. Um, I like the look of it. I like the customization options. The only thing that I'm not a big fan of is the headlights on this car. They're kind of weird. Um, they're they're kind of... I don't know, they look too old for the car's, uh, you know, otherwise look. Um, I wish they were more squared, at least, you know, on, on like half of the headlight or something, but they're fully just circles, which I get it. It's making reference to the, uh, the Karen 190Z and, you know, former uh, real life Z cars as well. Um, but I think that it would kind of look better if the front headlights matched up a little more with the rest of, uh, with the rest of the styling of the car. But, uh, you know, with that being said, I still like the look of it a lot. I think it's a great looking car and uh i'm very impressed with it no doubt about it um it handles really nicely and that imani tech stuff is uh great to have obviously so um, i think this is truly going to be one of the best cars from this dlc already um, i'm going to go ahead and say that right now and i think it honestly might be the best car of uh, of day one in gta online so uh with it might honestly be the best car of day one of the los santos drug wars dlc um we're gonna have to see i'm gonna do my ranking video a little bit later so stay tuned for that uh but anyway guys i think that's pretty much where i'm gonna end the video on the 300 r if you guys enjoyed this video a like is of course appreciated if not dislike subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and i will see you all in the next video until then take care peace